Remember, they could have covered at $5. Remember, they could have not tried to bankrupt an American company. Remember, they could have not tried to eliminate over 35,000 hardworking people's jobs. Remember, they think retail investors are the dumb money. Remember, they think retail will fold and sell. Remember, we own the float, though. Remember, the shorts are in deep, deep trouble. Reminder on quick math proving we got this. There's around 4 million retail apes. Average of 100 shares each is 400 million shares. 4 million times 1,000 shares is 4 billion. 4 million times 10,000 shares, 40 billion. It is clear retail has been doubling down on their positions over the past year. So, 4 billion shares in circulation is prob about right. Now, that's a good question. I want you guys to comment down below if, of course, you feel comfortable. Have you been buying more shares of AMC in 2022? Or have you just been holding on to your shares in 2021? We have data to prove that the majority of the retail investors have, of course, been buying and or just holding on to the shares that they have. So we already know that. But let me know what you guys have been doing as of recently. This explains it all in one article. Ken Griffin is personally worth $28.9 billion because he is allowed to run every aspect of the market. He controls the entire thing. Hedge fund market maker, and he has his own personal off-exchange dark pool. Anyone see a conflict of interest here at President of the United States? My friend's dad came out to me as an AMC ape last night. Turns out he's a whale. So we are at this concert and my buddy's dad is there, whom I've never met before. We're talking and it comes up that he does financial advising for a living. Successful entrepreneur, I immediately say, hey, you're not one of those guys are shorting stocks, are you? In a joking manner, which he says, no, I'm an AMC ape. And then of course I say, me too, haha. Well, he ends up railing off at this point of how ashamed he is both Citadel and Ken Griffin being at his age and behaving so poorly. How many synthetics he believes are actually out there? A lot. How he thinks cost to borrow is going to get totally blasted off, but also somewhere in the mix he reveals that he has 50,000 shares of AMC. And here I was part of my minimum 1,000 shares or so. The point I'm trying to make here is that this is one random chance encounter on this planet. The scope of this thing is absolutely ridiculous. Confirm those biases because we are out there, we're holding strong, we're everywhere, guys. There's so many retail investors, the most widely held stock by retail investors. And we are heading to the moon. 